Hi guys, my name is Aaron from Mofo Body Mechanic and I am joined with our good friend Emma Hyman, the posing Hi, pro. There. How Hello. are you? I'm good, thank you. Are you? I'm very well, thanks. Good, good. Now, I thought today we'd talk a little bit about one of the big sort of problem areas from your perspective from posing and from my perspective as a clinician and that's lat activation. Now, from my point of view, and then Emma will talk about it from a posing mm. perspective in a second, I think the most common causes of issues around the lats revolve around shoulder issues. Mm -hmm. So usually people have had a shoulder problem, the shoulder pain may have resolved, mm -hmm. but what they've got is some scapular dyskinesis, the yeah. scapula's moving differently. Yeah. And as a result, all the muscles around the scapula are activating and firing up at different, different places and different ways. And that means that because the scapula's changing position, they can't fire the lats up. They also struggle with pec activation and they also struggle with external rotation. So from a a purely performance perspective, um, lat activation from my point of view comes from the perspective where there's either an existing shoulder injury or an old shoulder injury yeah. which is now not painful but has changed the, the movement patterns around the shoulder. Yeah, and we kind of really started to work together on this um, because I had a, a, a few clients that were at a level of posing where we'd really done everything we needed to do with the basics and fundamentals of how to flare the lats, but there was something that was just hindering them from really presenting that perfect top line and whether it was the shoulder position or whether it was um, just one side maybe not firing up as much as the other. And then me asking the question, oh, have you injured your shoulder before or have you done something to this side of the body? And usually nine times out of 10, the answer was yes. So that's really where Aaron comes into play and he can um, really identify what the root of the problem is, how it needs to be fixed, and then the client can really perfect that top line as much as possible. So um, also what I really want to um, touch on with Aaron as well is actual basic lat activation, which is where someone comes in completely brand new and really doesn't understand the, the fundamentals of activating the lats and where it comes from. Because I think a lot of people, they're conf they get confused as to how do I flare the lats, put te tension on them yeah, and round yeah. them out. And really the <clears throat> movement doesn't come from the shoulders, the arms are very much so secondary to the movement. And it's more so about, um, you know, the, um, the shoulder blade and the scapula gliding and flattening out. So we're really gonna focus on that today. So we're gonna head on into the gym and we're just gonna take you guys through um, a really short video just of certain exercises and how things should look, how they should feel, and then hopefully you can apply that to your own practice and get those perfect lats. And from a performance perspective, yeah. these are things that if you're doing pre-pull, these are things that might be really useful to start that engagement process yes. because a lot of it's that neuromuscular re-education. So once you've had an injury, and you've, you're trying to repattern the movements back into their original form, you'll often find it all, this will expedite mm. the process. Mm -hmm. So it will, it will speed up the process for you. So this will be really beneficial for anyone that has some sort of imbalance on their, um, their front lat spread or their relaxed pose, or even just your bikini front pose if you've got one shoulder that's a little bit out, or if you're completely new and you really just don't understand and grasp how the light should be flaring, where it all comes from, we're gonna to touch on all of that today. So, let's head on over into the gym. Hey. So, we have just fast-tracked from the studio into the gym and now we are gonna do our lat activation. We are. Yes, so first exercise. Right, let's come on to that side. So, when me and Emma started working together about three, three years, years ago. ago. Um, Emma had some lat activation issues and we talked a little bit about the role of the lats as a lateral flexor of your spine. So the first movement we're going to go through is some lat activation with a lateral flexion which really kicks in that, that sort of lower part of your lat. So if you are struggling with just general lat activation which a lot, it's the most common problem. You know, as a first timer and a beginner, the most common issue people tend to say is, how, should, how do you fare the lats? How should I feel it? The key is, first of all, is to get into the gym and just really start with your basic lat activation. What does that actually mean? Where are we moving from? How do you actually open up and flare the lats? Yeah, so we'll jump onto the cable column. So in this position, so we're thinking about starting position. Now, one of the things I think that 
again, the common mistakes people make is they let their shoulder completely stretch up. So they're starting position, they're starting from a stretch position. Now it's very hard to contract a muscle from a stretch. So Emma's gonna draw her shoulder blade into a back pocket. That's the starting point, keeping the arm straight. And then we're gonna pull the elbow towards the midline of her back. Once we get down to the bottom position, we're adding in that lateral flexion, that side bend. And then back up again from there. And you're gonna basically go for reps in this. So 10 to 12 reps, two or three sets. as an integral part of you pull activation mobility session. Now when you can see, as Emma gets down to the bottom position now, so if you bring your elbow towards the middle line of your back, and then that lateral flexion, can you see the activation of the lat through there? So it's really down here. It's that bottom part of the lat. And from behind, through. Emma's scapula is protracting. It's coming round the side, which essentially is the movement you're trying to create when you're trying to flare your lats. So that's piece number one. Exercise number one, done. Second exercise. This is your favorite. I cable on or cable off? People, I, once I get into something, I can really see how it works, why it works, and the difference that it makes. And really, it essentially makes the bigger job a lot easier. I love these lat activation exercises, and especially because they all go hand in hand with the posing as well. So, yeah. so again, already you can see the lat's engaged. So we're not just allowing the arm to get stretched over the side of the head. Emma's scapula's working. Not yeah, so not that we're not starting from there. Here, so lats are on, and then we're gonna bring the elbow again. Trying to aim for the, for the behind the back is what we're trying to aim towards. And then back up from there. And again, we're just gonna go for reps in this position. Now the weight on these doesn't need to be massively heavy. What you're trying to avoid is pre-exhausting yourself before you get into your session. So this is about mind-muscle connection. It's about feel, as opposed to doing loads and loads of repetitions, fatiguing your muscle so that when you get into the actual movements which make the difference to the size and width of your back, there we go. Yeah, so don't, don't do any ego lifting here. Don't be afraid to go lighter so you can really feel the activation here. And I also really recommend filming these exercises because sometimes we think it feels right and yeah. we usually, we're probably here. <laughs> because it feels like you've got tension on the muscle. So just make sure you film and you are fully flaring. And I think one of the things that works really well, again, to enhance that mind-muscle connection is closing your eyes while you're doing this. Mm -hmm. So you're taking out any external stimulus, any visual stimulus, looking around the gym, closing your eyes and really just focusing in on that lat activation. So you can actually really get deep into the, into the muscle fibers. So just as an example, this is how we do not want to execute this. Yeah, so. Yeah, <laughs> this is definitely not what we want to do. Think about the mind-muscle connection. Get that engagement before you move. Pull down. Perfect. Keep that light activated. Yeah, brilliant. Tensional. Super. Right, final piece. That was piece number two, or exercise number two. Emma's gonna turn around now to face away from the camera. Now this is your scapular pull-up, or your shrug, your scapular shrug, however you want to talk about this. Now this is actually a really small movement. So if you look at Emma's sort of shoulders, the traps, and then you can see, so if you go into your reps for us, Em, that's it, and then back down again. It's the first part of your chin up. And all we're looking to do is lift the chest, create a little bit of an arch into the back, so that we're really firing up this serratus anterior muscle, the muscle that sits underneath the shoulder blade. Perfect. Yeah. 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 And so I go recommend on. as well trying that, trying underhand yeah. and overhand as well because it feels quite different. I'll show you front on just so you can see the difference. I'll just get up here. And um, from here, it feels quite different. So use your different points as well. So if you're struggling with lat activation, whether that be from a posing perspective or because when you're training, you can't actually feel the, the lats engaged on one side. Prior to your next push session, go through either all three or one or two of those movements. Mm -hmm. Connect with the muscle, 
Don't fatigue the muscle, don't go to exhaustion. This is all about creating a better mind-muscle connection. So strength acquisition comes from skill acquisition. This is your skill acquisition. Save the strength stuff when you're into the main part of your set. Yeah. Absolutely. Perfect. Could put it better myself. Done. Good job. Thanks for watching, guys, and make sure you head on over to the next video for more tips with your posing and your mobility.